Hi, how are you going? My name is Jason Chong. I, I'm a video editor and I wanted to share something that I've been working on for the last couple of days, just messing around with. Now, um, I work primarily in Final Cut. I'm teaching myself Final Cut X at the moment, but uh, it's usually Final Cut 6 and 7 that I work in. Um, and I've found a way to use gestures to control your workstation. Now, uh, the way I came about with this is I, I always thought it would be fun to be able to use your phone or an iPad to uh, control your workstation. I was looking for a program to do that and I couldn't really f find one. Um, I have edited in the past with this. This, uh, this is a Nostromo uh, gaming pad. Uh, and I've mapped keys to this uh, for doing very repetitive tasks or where you know you'll be sitting at a workstation for hours on end. Um, and that worked very well, but then when Line came out, they broke uh, it broke um, the drivers and stuff for it. So that's basically junk now. Uh, I did look at one point into using a Magic Trackpad uh, and found that there just wasn't enough kind of functionality in it to use it. Then I thought, well, if I can't do it on my phone, maybe this is worth re-looking at. So, I found a custom gesture program, it's called Better Touch Tool, and you can find it at uh, boaster.de, so B-O-A-S-T-R dot D-E. Uh, it's called Better Touch Tool. Um, it's free to download and um, it's only a very tiny program. Uh, and what it lets you do is have custom gestures on your Magic Trackpad. So I've uh, mapped some of these out and basically I can now edit with one hand and, I mean, you can hold it in your hand and, and be walking around uh, your room looking at things from different angles or whatever or, or uh, things like that. So I'll show you kind of what I've set up. When you install Better Touch Tool, you get a little icon right up the corner here. If you click that and open the preferences, uh, you'll get a, well, it'll probably look like this the first time you open it up. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to do it for uh, specific apps, you can click the plus button down here um, and you'll see uh, I've got on my Final Cut, Final Cut X is there, uh, Final Cut Pro is in the folder called Final Cut Studio, uh, and you open that up. Um, you can do gestures for other things, your magic mouse, uh, the touch screen on the top of there, and do kind of keyboard macros and things like that. So this is what I've got set up uh, to add a new gesture. It's really simple, you click add new gesture uh, and you select one. Now there are heaps and heaps to choose from. Some of them uh, have a, a small uh, demo here. So if we click, I don't know, say a triangle swipe, which I didn't know existed, um, you can see that's what a triangle swipe looks like. You can assign that to a, a keyboard shortcut. Um, when you wanna do it, uh, click in there and let's, let's have that as space bar sort of play. Um, so the, I haven't set up, uh, I've set up a, a fair few, but um, I'm sure that there are a lot more you could use. Um, I won't go too much into what each of those ones are, you can have a look there. Um, this, as, as, I, as I update this, this will uh, be on my website, uh, dribble.com.au. Um, you can import and export presets here, so you'll be able to uh, take these and, and uh, customize them to how you work. Um, so, we'll get into Final Cut. You don't need to um, restart Final Cut every time you change this. It's um, it's just always running in the background, so it's fine. So really basic uh, navigation. Uh, you've got, so I'm gonna take my hand off the mouse now. You've got one finger to move the mouse around, uh, one click to click it, or oh, that's just a tap. Um, two taps, uh, two finger tap to bring up the, uh, was that Command or Apple click, right click, whatever you call it. Um, and there, so zooming in is like it would be system wide, kind of pinching in and out. Uh, you can, if I zoom in a bit, uh, you can scroll by scrolling left and right as well. Uh, now I've set up some kind of general navigation keys. These are uh, a bit hard to find sometimes, but the top uh, left hand corner is the home key, the top right hand corner is the end key. You have to get right into the corners there. Uh, and zoom to fit is, uh, I've actually made it an actual click, you might have heard a click then, um, an actual click uh, on the on the right side. Um, now if you ever do something like this, I don't know when I did that, but if you do that, you wanna undo it, you can right click, and this might take, oh, there you go, takes a small while because I'm screen recording, uh, it's usually a lot more responsive than that, so that's a right click in, in the bottom corner there. Right, so, um, I will make a cut actually, just quickly. I'll show you about that in a second. But if you want to go to the next clip, uh, you can rotate left and right. I wanted to map these to, um, it's, it's about a quarter click is what kind of activates it. I wanted to um, attach them to slow-mo or, or you know frame left, frame right, like you'd see on a jog shuttle wheel. Unfortunately, a quarter of a click, a quarter of a turn is kind of too much for one key press. Like you'd want it to be 
like just minute movements. So I've done them for next clip forward and next clip back. So basically up and down on the keyboard. Uh, and then we get to playback. So um, I've, because we're used to editing with JKL, I've used three fingers as the kind of swipe. So that's forward. We'll zoom in a bit so you can see it working a bit better. Um, scroll over there. So that's basically L, uh, three swipes left is J and uh, three finger tap is K. Well, it's not actually K, it's space because if you hit it again, it stops and starts. There we go. Now to go frame by frame, I've used a thing called a tip tap. So that's if you have your f three fingers on there and you uh, tap just this finger, that's tapping, uh, well basically right and this is left. So it's basically when you, uh, similar to when you are holding K and tapping J or L on a keyboard. Uh, now here's where it kind of gets um, a bit better. I showed you a cut before, but it's basically the blade tool. So I've mapped this to uh, Command B, I think it is, uh, to blade wherever the playhead is. So that's basically swipe. So borrowing a bit from the old film uh, cutting. So just to swipe it. So we'll I'll move forward a bit. I'll basically if, if you um, if you do more, it's like hitting K. So it, it speeds up the the playback. Uh, so blade. Kind of feels like you're cutting film a little bit. Uh, what I, what, how I edit a lot of the time is I um, have a big clip in the timeline like this, and then uh, cut chunks out of it. So, say we wanted to cut a chunk out of it. Say we wanted to cut from where I'd made that first clip to here. If we just blade, then we'd have to use the mouse to delete it. So, what I've discovered is if you um, select the clip, the keyboard shortcut C, but if you just swipe up with two fingers, you select the clip. Right? And then if you blade it, it uh, selects the first part of the clip. Um, if you do that normally, say uh, we bladed first and then uh, it would, uh, and, and then uh, swiped up to select that clip, it only selects the kind of second up. But if you have it selected and then you blade, it'll select the previous part. So then uh, to delete that part, it's just the three fingered swipe down. So basically throwing it to the trash is kind of how I uh, imagine it in my head. So how I edit is I just, uh, you know, swipe through, stop, maybe correct a little bit. Uh, if that's where I want to make my kind of in cut, I cut it there, uh, go to where I want to cut the end. And then it's just basically this, this and that. So two fingers up to select it, two fingers down to blade it, and then three fingers down to um, throw it away. So there you go, editing like they do in the futures. Uh, so you need a magic trackpad, you need better touch tool from uh, www.boaster.de, B-O-A-S-T-R. De. I'm going to put a link in the description below anyway. Um, and I'm also going to uh, upload my configuration that I use so you can just import it straight in as a preset. Uh, that'll be available on my website. Let me know if you um, if you modify it in any way. Like, feel free to do that, obviously. Uh, but I'd love to know how you're using it. I might be able to uh, get a few more ideas uh, on, on how to, on my configuration. So that'd be cool. Um, either put it in the comments there or, or whatever. Uh, my website is dribble.com.au, but again, there'll be a link down there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope it helps you out and at least gives you something else to think about or another skill to learn while you're doing boring, boring edits. Thanks a lot. I'm Jason. Cheers.